make do with the fact that they have got the mid and top priority, but Golden Guardians are kind of feeling a bit of momentum behind them right now. They're saying, look, we don't believe you could just go for this right here, and that's exactly why, because you don't have Mega. You're waiting on this Gnar to get up to his most powerful engaged tool, and with the Rift Tower going down, it's stolen again, and they're going to go straight away. The Hostile Taker is decent. Shun has taken away the Eclipse onto Bin. They're looking for an engage. Bin with the ultimate of the Aphelios means everybody is turned to dust. Gory will just about get himself to safety. Never mind, you guys got your number. And what looks so good for Golden Guardians is disaster for them in the end. is so potent at just setting up that single target CC. You get a flash charm in, you hit that into a, a, a VIQ, you can just burst somebody down. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how Golden Guardians kind of survive and where BLG kind of want to throw their resources. But the teams are locked. The coaches have said themselves a GG to each other and we're gonna be jumping into this first game. And again, I think a lot of people, I know from my side of things in the LPL, we're a little bit worried about this one here. Golden Guardians is not looking as uh, easy maybe as a couple of LPL fans were hoping. Yeah, I think that given that we've had such dominant 2-0 Performances from everyone, well, you too. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, I they got it in game two. Expectations are high for both these teams, and a lot of people are excited to see what they can bring to the table. Best of three between BLG and Golden Guardians. It's going to be a good one. Let's go into the rift. Take that flash away from the Lissandra, which then makes it easier and safer for you to then start threatening a roam and looking for options on the map. Rivers found himself at this top side and maybe trying to burn down Bin, who knows he's in no man's land. He does get a good hop, though, right onto Licorice's head. And now he's kind of just saying, which way am I going to go? He's kind of hoping that the Vi will come up and they, they are coming in. But now it's a little bit of a turnaround. The River doesn't know that he's there. And now he realizes he's in a little bit of a trouble now. They waited a couple of seconds. Can he get himself over the wall? That is the question. River trying to make sure he doesn't lose his flash. Gets himself over the wall. They cannot get the class back. But Bin gets first blood. And now you can see with a little bit of damage, can Licorice finish off this kill? He cannot. And there's a big Big old Meganar jumping in his face. He's got nowhere to be, nowhere to go. Double buffs on the Gnar. And there's a little emote as well. That's for IG. BLG trying to see if they can secure this. They haven't gotten it just yet. But a house to the back of the head means Bin gets two kills. Oh, what a fantastic start for BLG. Malfoy and the Lissandra kind of coming into that. If you're looking for something bot lane, you're just not going to find it. Well, BLG though, they have set up a really nice ward here with the push that Yikao has just gotten and the control that they have on the bot side of the map. BLG can start to threaten a dive. Bot lane is beginning to stack up a wave. Gory needs to be careful as he walks into Fog of War. Charm. Yeah, charmed, but we're going to go for it. Maybe thinking of going in himself. The Glacial Path shall not be taken, and they want to continue going for this one. We are going to see a Spirit Rush used here. That's a lot of damage on Gory, who immediately has to go into his ultimate. Does have a good Ring of Frost, but he's got nowhere to go. And that's Yigao, just a very easy kill, picking up in the mid lane. Just straight away. Right now, both teams looking a bit jittery at the moment as they look say, for this dragon. Second flash just kind of wasted, I feel, from Golden Guardians, walking into a space that just doesn't belong to them. BLG are playing around their control well. They constantly have a pushing bot. They have the pushing mid. And GG can keep trying to access this river and go for these trades, but it's so dangerous. They're looking for a fight, though. They're going to be the jump in. There's going to be the lounge respite as you get the ultimate out from the Vi as well. Nobody's gone down just yet as they're all getting a little bit of extra healing. There's the bailout. And finally, River goes down. They're looking to try and see if they can catch out Gory as well, who did have to flash over the wall, but he's got nowhere to go as he's rooted down by Elk's Gravitum. Two more kills over to BLG and Golden Guardians. I mean, they try, but like you said, they just have no right trying to defend. And that. I think the ball is in this exchange, and, uh, and the fact that Elk is then able to rotate, come into the flash to secure that kill as well. Golden Guardians just, they didn't need to force that fight, they didn't need to contest that Drake, and they ended up getting punished for it. Force, forcing another fight, they dropped down Shelly into that mid lane, but we talked about how this is great to kind of funnel resources into someone. They haven't been able to funnel resources into anybody. It will get its charge off, that's going straight over the river. Not the worst person in the world. The hostile taker is decent, it's been flashed over, and he really wants to take this kill, but the bailout is there, so it's giving an extra couple of seconds! Shut down, going over the river, and now the Golden Guardians have sparked into life! get themselves two kills, and that was just BLG just not expecting so much stall out from the from the bailout. That is a bit of a big classic. Yeah. That, a little bit, a little bit, you know, he, he's feeling himself, he sees the play, he sees the window, he sees an opportunity to go for a great kill, and as you rightly said, the bailout punishing him massively there. This actually gives Golden Guardians a window to contest the Drake. BLG weren't able to pick Hello. it up earlier, but out level 10, very strong Gory. They're looking onto On. They'll get him out there with the Glacial Prison as well. And Stixay picks up a kill. He's looking to try and maybe get onto Yagawa as he gets excited. 
Elk is still very healthy, but I don't think Elk can go for this. He's going to have to give up that dragon, and it's Golden Guardians who get themselves finally on the board. They're still behind on gold, but they're definitely not giving up this game. He is so far ahead in gold, uh, largely off the back of just securing all of those plates and stuff. Well, we'll see the next Riftel being set up here now as VLG look to try and make do with the fact that they have got the mid and top priority, but Golden Guardians are kind of feeling a bit of momentum behind them right now. They're saying, look, we don't believe you could just go for this right here, and that's exactly why, because you don't have Mega. You're waiting on this Gnar to get up to his most powerful engaged tool, and with the Rift Tower going down, it's stolen again, and they're going to go straight away. The Hostile Taker, or his decent shun, has taken away the Eclipse onto Bin. They're looking for an engage. Bin with the ultimate of the Aphelios means everybody is turned to dust. Gory will just about get himself to safety Never mind, you guys got your number. And what looks so good for Golden Guardians is disaster for them in the end. It's a clean ace for BLG as Golden Guardians get baited into that choke point for the re-engage to be absolutely spectacular from BLG. Again, GG just missed position on the map. The rapid fire cannon now for Stix A, and uh, he's not been doing badly whatsoever, but I don't really know if you can just walk into this one here. Gory kind of leading the charge, the vanguard here for Golden Guardians as they look to try and contest this one here. Jinx Ult's not going to be anywhere close to it, and they know that that one's down, but do you look for the fight? TP going to be coming in, that's been off of a reset. They jump straight in on top of On and try and burst him down. He's not going to go down just yet, but they have the hostile takeover. Elk going back in to take down the Lissandra. The dragon is still good to go, and they're trying to see if they can burst this one down. Stolen! Golden Guardians get themselves a dragon. But will they get themselves a fight? Bin jumps in, trying to see if he can do anything there for the Lamb's Rest fight. Doing so much to just delay everything here from the side of BLG. Stixay is still very healthy, and a good handshake keeps them alive. But Golden Guardians lose two. They gain the Dragon. They did allow the Elise to walk in, steal that one away, and they didn't want to let that one happen again. So now with the Baron, they're going to look to end the game. And Golden Guardians have to be thinking about what they can do in game two. Unless they can find some sort of miracle here. Oh, we'll see. Already getting super minions in that mid lane. They're going to start knocking on the Nexus doors. Kind of burning them down as well. Yugao just kind of keeping them going. And there's not really many places to go. you got to pick a, pick a poison right now, Golden Guardians. you got to figure out what you want to do here, where you want to try and put your last stand, because otherwise you're going to die a death of a thousand cuts. Chip damage continues from Elk. Look, Elk is level 16, so Licorice is level 40. Yeah. There is no one that can kill him. <laughs> <laughs> no one who can stand up to him, at least. Yeah. When you be killing him, you need to be killing him very, very quickly. The Shirelia's Ravelry will get popped. The TP going to be coming in from the base. That's going to be the RE joining back in as the top lane inhibitor is exposed. They will get a good charm off, and that Orbital Deception hits on the so many people. Three-man knockup, but who's going to be able to follow up? They get everything down onto Shun. They will see if Elk can just kind of survive, but Elk's just not in any threat. He's just going to be able to free fire. He flashes in because he knows no one's going to be able to take him down. I deny that, though. Bin jumps into the backside, gets himself an ultimate. Can Stixay stay alive? Or sorry, Stixay's already dead. Licorice is the last one back, and Bin picks up a triple kill. Licorice, the last one left standing. Baron still good for BLG, and there's going to be the clean up the rest of this base. A clean fight once more for BLG, even though Golden Guardians found the kill onto L. It was not enough, and BLG will lead the series 1-0. to zero. Look at the last kill, just to take it off, you know, get a little bit of extra KDA there on the last little bit of it there. You go picking up that last one onto Licorice, but BLG get themselves the first win. And it, right there, you saw Ben.